Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enzo Dimensions reality update video, episode 44, and it's been about a day since last episode. I don't have all the challenges completed, but I have everything up to um, five times one with this, and I have all of the normal achievements, which is pretty nice, and um, I can start hopefully progressing more, so I'm going to disable my automatic attorney. Actually, there's one thing I can do, and that is... I can I can get study 111, which is pretty good with the infinity dimension path. I'm not sure if that's better than the time dimension path, but I don't know. We're we're just gonna see what's going on here, and I can get all the way up to 1800 infinity points. I haven't even purchased these time dimensions yet, so I'll do that. E 2100, so that's actually enough to get to the next major study here, and that is 123. Because, okay, I could go 121, but then I have to do the stupid active thing. And 123 is basically always better than 122. And it leads to 133, which is the replicated galaxies are stronger. So this gets me all the way to E8 infinity pool, or E8 eternity points. We can even get 143, which gets me more infinity points. And... Replicanti is definitely fast enough. I'm now getting E9 in eternity points. And I can probably keep going. Yeah, look at this. It just it just keeps going. I'm now very close to time study 151. I think I want to get 62 just to make them 62 and 33 to make the runs faster. And this this tells me I don't even I almost bought it. Don't 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 let the habits ruin it. Just get the time dimensions. Just pick them off one by one here and yeah you can see just how many i'm able to get and then time theorems it's enough to get 151 and this is yeah this is enough just to get all the way to e10 right there so there we go it didn't even take that long to get the paradoxical forever so similar upgrade i could get actually this reality if i really wanted to and i guess now well I can start maxing this and getting even more eternity points, which is going to be crazy. I can get 161 and 162, which gets me three time theorems right off the bat. And I think what I'm going to do is, I mean, I might go through the eternity challenge stage, but it's not going to be particularly fast. And I can afford just to wait some time. I mean, maybe I can do a few to... So I don't, like, have to wait more than... Also, the black hole's activating right now. Um, let's, see, let, let, let's take a look. Yeah, here, this is what it looks like when it's active. This is kind of a useless time for the black hole to activate. I was planning to record this now because um, the black hole would be... Would, like, give a little boost if I didn't want... Um, or if, if I was kind of struggling. But obviously I was not struggling. So... But I might, I might try to get some challenge completions out of the way because of... Because if we go here, it's like a day and 14 hours. I can probably reduce that. And, I mean, I, I, can, I, can, get, I can get E15 eternity points, which is enough to get every time study up to 171. And this is obviously just going to be incredibly powerful. I can already, I can already get this, and I should probably change this up to like E one hundred and fifty instead of E fifty. So here, here we go. E seventeen eternity points. Remember, at at this point now, I have over a million eternities. So eternity grinding is not a problem at all. And I should probably be doing this in the in the op other order, but whatever. I can get. Your achievement bonus affects time dimensions, which is really good. And I can get 20 time theorems. I probably, I think I want to just start getting like completions of, let's say, Eternity Challenge 6 or something like that. And things, yeah, they are actually slowing down a little bit. Even now, with these challenge completions and the Eternity Point. Well, the thing is with this part of the game, it's kind of like this. And it's... It does suck a little bit. 
that it has to be this way. I could just, you know, do do some infinities here, and that will actually get me a little bit farther. It gets me up to E21 turning points. I can probably go a little farther from here, but I think at this point, I kind of I kind of just want to do kind of want to load this once. Okay, not load the entire build because it goes too far. Because I I want to get some turning challenge six completions. I mean, this is not going to be hard, I think. At least at least with all the Replicanti speed boosts I have, which is actually really the same as before. Maybe I shouldn't even be recording this at all, because it isn't any different than last reality, other than that there's the knowing existence, which is slightly more powerful. Um, I'm ahead on the Eternity Grinding instead of behind on the Eternity Grinding, and... I don't have my time dimension glyph, which starts becoming really significant at this point. So, I think I'm just going to do all of this off camera, except if anything notable happens. And I'll see you, I'm not even sure when, but in a bit. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since last recording. I've been really busy lately. And I have now have all the tourney challenges completed automatically, so... Basically, it was just a straight shot to get to dilation um, from where I was before. And I, I might have done some off-camera progression of other stuff as well, but none of it was particularly interesting, so that's why I did it all off-camera. And I think, I think I, I've think i found what reality upgrade I actually want to do here. And this is going to be the paradoxical forever, because I'm pretty sure I can get at least, like, 56 Time theorems. I'll get a temporal amplifier, linguistically expand, and existentially prolong next reality. And this is a pretty nice tachyon particle boost. So I'm gonna get this here. Maybe it's not the best idea, but whatever. I I'm often in dilation very long. So let's go we'll grab time theorems, and then I can respect, go into dilation, and um oh yeah, get the dilation study and then dilate time i'm used to new game plus 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 where i don't think you have to purchase the dilation study now this time it's probably easier i think it's due to stuff like time study 193 which i have maxed out with my five million eternities seriously i have five million eternities but only 51 million banked infinities this means i can start getting tachyon particles which obviously because of how overpowered dilation is at this point it is just no problem to get anywhere in dilation like just yeah just looking at this it's crazy even without that glyph that boosts the um thing based on boost the dilated time game based on my replicanti i don't i don't need that um it's already overpowered enough as it is now i can buy all of the things from the the split and yeah y you know how it goes from here i'm probably even just gonna wait until i get this upgrade so i can actually get another tripling of the tachyon particles now another really interesting effect that's gonna happen for dilation is when the black hole is active because i i'm definitely i'm not far from the black hole at all we're gonna also reduce the dilation penalty that about doubles the tachyon particles. I'm just gonna keep going like this because I get dilated time faster when I am in dilation. And all of a sudden I have already up to the infinity point dilation upgrade. And we can just disable again and re-enable and look at that. I am I'm already getting eternity points actually. I I am sure I wasn't at E fourteen thirty before. And this means I can start, you know, getting more time dimensions and just everything. I'm not trying to go for any reality upgrade that isn't linguistically expand, which means there's n there's no just arbitrarily holding myself back because with not getting the later time dimensions. So it's it's gonna actually go super fast. And I'm up to e seventeen hundred eternity points and get more of these. I think it's really... I'm not doing this so many times that I think the telemechanical process is a necessity at this point. And I'm just... It is getting slower at this point, but we're very close to the passive gain of 
time VMs. So I, I, I'm it's definitely not slow. We can we can just double dilated time gain here, and then it's like four seconds to get the passive time theorem generation, which of course means that yeah, I'm already up to the fifth time dimension, and it won't be very long until I'll get even more time dimensions. So I think at this point I'm just gonna get more eternity points rather than doing dilation runs because I'm getting quite a bit. And I want to start actually utilizing those time dimensions. So do this. And I probably just keep doing this. Just check and dilation here. We're getting pretty close to um, the black hole activating. So that's going to be very interesting. I, I definitely want to show you what that looks like in dilation. So it is actually optimal to get this upgrade before this. Just barely. I actually thought that the optimal thing was if it was 50% um, more or less, but someone's actually ran through the numbers, and it's actually best to get this before the, it's, if it's up to 33% more, which is very interesting. I, I, I checked the math, and it, it checked out. So, yeah. Anyway, we are going to get um, a an another one of these upgrades, which means t more Tachyon Galaxies and... I should probably stay in dilation. That's what I'm going to do. And it looks like the black hole is very close to activating. So watch this go crazy. And I, I'm, I'm going to need to... I only have 13 seconds here. So here we go. E17 per second. Come on, get this, get this. Oh, no, no. I forgot to reset my dilated time. Six seconds left. Come on. Triple. This animation is really taking a long time. E20. Oh. I got the wrong upgrade. Crap. <laughs> oh my god. It's hard when you only have 13 seconds to actually do stuff. I guess I can disable. And um, at this point, I'm probably, get, probably getting a lot more time theorems than before. I'm already up. I already have enough time theorems to get the eighth time dimension. So, yeah, let's get the fifth time dimension here. And then I don't have any time dimension glyphs, so it's not as powerful as if I did have that. But. Yeah, it's still only like a minute until the neck, or a couple minutes till I get this. Only a minute if I'm actually in dilation. But yeah, this is how we use. Now, this is going to be an extreme case of how good the black hole is. But even later, where um, the black hole. Like, the thing is that later on, I'm going to be getting. It's going to be like hours between these upgrades. And the black hole only gives me. A little under an hour of progression. It's like it's like two hundred. It's like about four minutes per second while the black hole is active, and it lasts for thirteen seconds. So it's about fifty-two minutes, a little bit more than that, but definitely under an hour. So now I'm just at slightly more eternity points, which should yeah, it's quite good for getting tachyon particles. It's good enough that I'm actually going to disable and then re-enable. This will take this down to just a few seconds, and so here we go. Triple the amount of tachyon particles gained again, and this should make it so, yeah, it's only like a minute to get this upgrade. I'm also, I'm going to disable the dilation, um, the, the animation, because you saw how bad that was during the black hole, so I don't want to actually do, do that, because it, it was really hindering me, because... When you have 13 seconds, a one second animation is going to ruin a lot of things. Okay, as I get close to E4000 turning points and I get my glyph choice, I want to point some things out here. First, um, the reality upgrades here. We got, um, first, the knowing existence is a lot more powerful. I also noticed this, especially at like E5, 6, 7,000 eternity points. It's actually quite a lot. So. This, this does really help things, and we got the Paradoxical Forever now over three times. So this means I could probably go into Dilation just now, just because of the Paradoxical Forever, and get a decent amount of Tachyon Particles. Another thing I realized was, um, because, because I have so few Infinities, it actually could be beneficial to just do a small amount of Infinity Grinding, because... It gives me so many 
infinities relative to what I have, which will boost the Eternity Challenge 10 reward by a pretty significant amount. So you can see here, I'm just doing a few infinities. It's enough to get about a billion total banked infinities. And yeah, see when I have E4000 Eternity points. Actually, I, I just realized um, I'm using the wrong build for this. I'm using my dilation build the whole time. This is going to probably affect things way more than... I'm like, why is progression so slow? I thought it was just glyphs or something, but nope. It is because I have the wrong time study tree build. So anyway, we can check our glyphs. 3, 2, 1... Well, wait, I can't actually see... Oh, I have to purchase the reality study. What am I doing? Okay, um, time studies. Scroll all the way down. Unlock reality. Here we go. We get four glyphs, not a single of them of two effects, which is kind of lame. Um, we get, we have a power glyph, doesn't seem very good. We have a rare infinity glyph, a time dimension glyph, and a TT per hour glyph. Okay, these are kind of disappointing. I'm probably just going to select the rare infinity glyph because it's the rarest. <laughs> and also, I don't have any, I don't have any infinity glyphs yet, so... Like this, but this could be better than, I don't know, the, the power glyph. I'm not sure. People say power glyphs are really good, and this is more than this. So maybe I should just select the, but I already have a better power glyph than this. So maybe I would want the infinity glyph just, be, just because it's different. Um, yes, yeah, just something I don't have. And, and it's rare, which will, I know it's, it might be a little bit early to talk about this, but fourth row upgrades. Um, this disparity of rarity here is reality with four glyphs equipped of an uncommon or better rarity. Well, the thing is, the other glyphs will do that as well. At least everything except the power glyph. So, that, I don't know, this is just a crappy selection of glyphs, unfortunately. It's like, all stuff I, I've already have, or have seen, or is very similar to what I have. And no dual effects, which I thought every reality you're supposed to get at least one with two effects. Yeah, I've pretty much just made my decision. I'm going to get the... I also think that it's probably better to get like a variety of stuff than rather than just stacking it all in one thing with like power. Because I think it's probably better... Because you get like a more compounding, multiplicatively compounding effect. So I'm, I'm probably just going to go this Infinity Glyph. Just because it isn't like great. It isn't really that good. But it's... It, at the very least, it's kind of... It's different and it's rare. So that's what I'm, I'm going to go with. Next reality. I'm probably... I might not even use it over the... Over just this Power Glyph. I was hoping for, like, a DT gain glyph, because, like, those can be really good. Like, literally, like, a hundred times DT gain, which would obsolete this glyph. And, yeah, I think, at this point, I'm just gonna do a bunch of stuff off-camera, because it isn't really interesting. It's just the same as everything else. And next episode, I will reality again, and things will be really interesting. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.